This is a Perkins 408. Um, this is the first diesel engine I've ever worked on and um, it's been sitting for six years and uh, I couldn't get it started so I did a couple of things. I had to empty the tank um, and then uh, obviously there, were, it, there was um, gunk in the pipe so I had to clean that all out. So I'm just going to show you how I bled it. Um, the parts on this were different to the manual so I didn't really know what I was doing and I had to figure it out. So although it's uh, mundane for many people if you're watching this then uh, you're probably interested yourself so here goes that over there if you look down there is the the primary filter um, it uh, needed to be emptied and cleaned out from the primary filter the fuel ran all the way along down the bottom over there and it came up and uh, I replaced this hose because it was also leaking. This was uh, the original, you can see it was pretty worn and stripped. Uh, and that was also sucking air. Okay, so the, f the um, fuel comes in, the diesel comes in over here. And this is the lift pump handle down there to, to do the pump. And then uh, the fuel goes up through here and you undo this nut over here or bolt over here and then uh, just use this pump. Bubbles will come out. when Once it's finished uh, bubbling I gave it uh, just a couple more pumps to make sure. And then I just uh, closed it tight, not too tight, I didn't want to strip it. And then the fuel also goes out from here down to the governor uh, and uh, to the fuel pump and then from up here it goes to the top of the injectors but you don't bleed from the top of these injectors uh, you bleed from the nuts further down which I'll show you um, on the other side Okay, so the fuel comes through from the other side and uh, it goes to the injector over there, not the injector, the governor, which is over there, and then to the fuel pump, which is over here. Um, I bled that one first and then went up to the governor up over there, and uh, because I, uh, the lift pump's on the other side, I just listened very carefully to hear if there was any bubbles coming out um, and then again I just pumped it a few more times just to make sure um, and then just tightened those off and then I came up over here and then I loosened these nuts over there and you'll find them on each of the injectors. Um, and then uh, I ran the engine for about uh, 30 seconds and it didn't start so I just opened these up again these injectors over there and bled them uh, again I let it run for about a minute this time and then um, closed them all off and then it started immediately and it ran pretty well um, the boat has been out of water for six, year, six years, so I connected uh, uh, a hose pipe from outside to the raw water over there, and then this water pumps into the, um, the fresh water system which is circulated through the engine. Uh, this is the pipe over here which comes from the underside of the boat. Uh, that's the raw water which goes through the filter and then from this filter it gets connected back up over there. Um, and that's it. Uh, six years and it started immediately. I also changed this impeller as well. Uh, and I'm going to change the oil uh, once I've let it run 
for a little bit. As you can see, there was a previous oil leak which has been sitting here for years. But um, it ran really well. Thanks for watching.